going to order the June 22nd, 2023 Zoom meeting of the Cable uh, TV Oversight Committee. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting of the Grafton Planning Board is being conducted with both in-person and remote participation, actually only remote participation. This is the other notice by board members and members of the public. Remote participation by public. For the public comment agenda item, the public hearings, we're not having any. And any other matter for which the board allows public participation will be via the Zoom raise hand feature. If you raise your hand in Zoom, you will be enabled at an appropriate point to enter the meeting via voice or video to make a comment or ask a question. In all cases, whether in person or remote, Please identify yourself by name and address for the record. Every vote will be taken by roll call. Uh, this meeting is being recorded and will be broadcast on uh, Grafton Community Television and uh, loaded to access from YouTube. Now, um, we should check that Everyone is here and here is what I know that, but the law says, uh, Bob D. Here. And you can hear me. Uh, Sean. Yes. Corson. Yes. And I'm yes. And I don't think there's anybody out there. I think Bob is driving Zoom. So hopefully. Hmm? No one out there. I know that. Uh, or I'm, I'm assuming I'm inferring that. Um, but if anybody shows up or if, if any hands get raised, you'll help me with that. Right? Okay. Um, first item, public input. You know, we can hear from anyone um, about anything that isn't otherwise on the agenda that's within the scope of our responsibilities. Anybody have anything? I'll just pass on, um, I, through mostly my planning board connection, I've been in touch with uh, an interest that's uh, percolating in, in putting some public Wi-Fi access points in probably three locations um, in town. There's a grant that they're figuring out what to do with and that's an idea that uh, seems to be getting a lot of interest. Um, two of the locations I think already have uh, the ability to connect to our uh, fiber network, both the common and the middle villages. Um, the third location is Whitney Park. Now, everybody knows where Whitney Park is, don't they? Mr. Whitney wants to be sure that everyone knows where Whitney Park is. The Whitney there is you know, going back in his family. Um, it, it's the area up, uh, the North Grafton Fire Department is on the corner of it. It's, it's the grassy area uh, going to the west of North Main Street. Um, I and Dave Robbins have been doing some looking into at least part of that. Uh, one thing would be we already have cable connection at the fire station, but the best, it, 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 this is still a ways off. Uh, we expect to have a, a, a discussion, a presentation with the proponents next month. Um, but uh, the, so far, the preference looks like putting in a drop, another drop, another 12 strand drop, like goes to each building uh, up to serve this on the, uh, on the, in the park. So it may be coming to us since we built the network and have the money. Um, once 
I want to find out how the recent connections to the uh, F man have been financed and see if we're missing something. But anyway, we'll get to discuss that next month. Just wanted you all to know that. Uh, I think being able to provide some um, public Wi-Fi in those places uh, sounds like a, a positive thing. It's been getting good response from what I've heard from uh, town planner and um, our, uh, what is his title? Uh, economic consultant. Economic consultant. John, is John? Is it John? Um, so we'll uh, hopefully be talking to them next month. Okay, treasurer's report. Uh, Bob. Okay, so I distributed the um, payments received uh, by Cindy Ide from Horizon and Charter, so you should have all, you should all have that, and hopefully you've had a chance to look at it, and also sent out the treasurer's report uh, in its current form. Uh, it shows we have a balance in our account of $896,225.48. The, okay, uh, the um, document seems to have a minus in front of that number. Yeah, it's, it's and, the way the system, yeah, it's the way the system shows. It, uh, yeah. that means it's, it's to the good for us. Yeah, I'm sure we don't owe uh, $900,000. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I've, I spoke to Bob, Bob B, and um, he's not at all clear about what these numbers coming out of town hall um, actually mean at this point. Um, I guess there's nobody who doesn't have this uh, document if they want to see it. Uh, no, nobody who's here in the meeting. So I think we can move on to minutes. Did we guess? Yes. <laughs> well, about the, the minutes is, is obviously uh, we, we didn't have a, a May meeting uh, and uh, the April meeting, you know, we didn't have that. So there's it was a little bit of lack of minutes. Although uh, from what I've been told there, you, know, you still have to produce something that simply says we didn't have a meeting. Um, which uh, gets sent out. But one thing I did also do is I had a chance to go up to the, um, I tried to meet with uh, Cindy about some of the posting of some of the, the uh, uh, minutes. And I, uh, cause I didn't see any of them going up from when I passed them along. So I brought a thumb drive with me and said, here they all are, make a copy of them and uh, get them posted on, on the website. And, some of them have been put there, but not all of them. I still don't understand why it's so difficult for them to get these put on the site, uh, to have them posted. Um, that's my only comment I'll have about the minutes in, in that respect, but there's not much to say about the, the past two meetings. Yeah, um, I haven't had to post meetings since uh, the current generation of technology uh, or maybe the previous one. Um, I'm not clear what the general system is supposed to be planning board gets taken care of behind the scenes um, and IT gets more or less the same, but by different people. Um, yeah, so there's the, there's the August, there's August, the, September, November, December, uh, and there should be some other ones there too, but I, I think it's, it's missing a couple of them uh, in this year of 20, 2023. And it shouldn't be because uh, they've been they've been uh, surrendered. I would say um, email. I, I think the link on the website is is. Um, I I got a sticky note from them that has the information on it. I don't want to have it so people can see it, but it's got all the writing on it to where to send them okay. once they're approved and so forth. So hopefully that will take care of it. But yeah, because I I think it's supposed supposed to go. To the clerk, uh, the, yes. I think the posting gets mm -hmm. done by the clerk. Bob and B. to uh, Lava Leak, the Lavalik, Lava 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 okay, Lava Lake. Candy, Sorry. candy Lava with Lava. a K, um, Candy with a K. Um, 
Okay. So do, do we actually have, I've lost track. Do we have any to vote tonight? We don't have the minutes. No, not really. Okay. Great. That'll move us along a little bit. Um, status of spectrum audio quality, Bob D. The charter technicians have made, as I've reported before, numerous visits to the studio, led by a senior supervisor slash technician whose name is Mike on a DS. And, uh, he and I have each other's phone numbers and we've been working pretty closely. They have diligently and methodically gone through every conceivable step that they can come up with. They, um, when they come into the building, the first thing they do is they go into the uh, main control room and they uh, monitor the return feed. And um, they're monitoring how many times within an hour they can hear popping, where they hear it, how loud it is. Since their last visit approximately a month ago, one of the things that they did was they increased the light intensity. Um, I'm sorry, they decreased it just a touch. They decreased the light intensity, which eliminated most of the uh, digital distortion that would take place across the screen. And most of the distortion would show up in the upper third or the top 80% of the screen. So um, it would show up kind of like way up here and not at the bottom. So when they adjusted the, um, the light intensity down just a notch, that made the distortion go away, which was great. So we thought we were on the right path. They have continued to monitor the popping. And the last time they were in, they went through a series of uh, tests that took them know, close to four or five hours. And they eliminated, they asked to do a live test, which, which I was able to set up for them. And um, we went live from room A and uh, did the microphones uh, all turned on and they witnessed the popping. And then on a following day, they asked for another test and we went live and we turned the audio off completely. Still heard the popping. So that was a significant revelation for them. Um, so no audio coming from room A still produced popping and it still was uh, discovered on all three of our channels. They are in constant telephone communication with people back, I'm assuming in Worcester. I don't know if they have anybody at the head end, but um, the length of time between visits indicates to me that they try to schedule to have somebody up at the head end when they come to see us. So the next thing they requested when they return is they're thinking they would like to eliminate one more suspect and they're thinking they would like to have a live test from the room and they want audio only no video and uh, their assumption is that they still get popping they they can absolutely positively rule out that it's a problem in our room, which i'm i'm pretty certain anybody with a clear head can tell it's not us <laughs> but um they are also thinking that there's a device in the rack that belongs to them. It's called a Maxcom encoder. And I think I may have mentioned this once before in a previous meeting months ago. And they're now thinking that the Maxcom encoder is the suspect. And they think that one of the next steps might be to try and find, try and find a replacement. Um, I don't know if that means the device is obsolete or there's something that will replace it. Um, but that's where we are currently. The popping, in my opinion, was at its worst when the weather was the worst. Um, so they investigated that and couldn't find anything. Um, in the last, I would say in the last 30 to 60 days, when I monitor uh, from, the, from the return feed in the control room, I've noticed that even though it still exists, it seems to be less dominant or prominent during uh, meetings. And um, the gaps in time between occurrences seem longer. So I don't know if that's anything that they did or if it's just 
come up with the cards. But needless to say, they have been working with us very, very closely. They've been very, very attentive. And as I said, I have the supervisor's phone number so I can reach him at a moment's notice. Um, that's where we're at. They have not scheduled another visit yet, but um, when they do, uh, hopefully by the next meeting, I'll, I'll be able to report on that. Um, they have been very attentive. When, when they show up in the building, they show up with at least three guys. And uh, there's one guy in the server room, one guy monitoring, and one guy constantly on the phone. So they are, they are attentive. That's everything I have. Which rack was that you said in the rack? Is that in the studio or when in they the go, yeah, when they go into the server room, um, uh, when you face your, the, when you go into the server room and you think, yeah, I'm our server room, when you go into the server room and face the front of the rack, uh, about waist high on the right hand side is the, the Maxcom device. Yeah. And fortunately, one of the, a couple of the times, I, and again, I may have mentioned this in the past, a couple of times they've come into the building and, and Danielle happened to be there. And, um, and so she offered her input. And of course, being a former charter employee, a lot of the guys recognize her. So um, we're, we're close. We're, I mean, it's not 100%. I'd say right now it's about 85 to 90% complete, but we're getting there. They're, the connection they're going on from the studio to them on is fiber now, not, yes. it's not coax. Correct. Yeah, they okay. even showed me, they showed me where their fiber is. It's clearly identified. So. Um, since this doesn't seem to come out, uh, come up on Verizon, it's a pretty safe vet, bet that it's someplace after the one signal that we have gets split to two, you know, split two ways. And uh, that would be my starting point. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Any, uh, anything? Apparently not. Uh, Verizon submitted draft license renewal, still under review with special counsel, Bob, Bill August. Bob? Yep, so Bill's been in contact with me and um, gave me some notes to share with the committee. Um, and he was very happy with the progress that they've made with uh, John Harrington, who's the attorney representing Verizon. They uh, have worked together on past licenses and I think they work together on every Verizon license in Massachusetts. Um, he and John have reached agreement and um, we will, right now, the way it's written, we will receive three payments of $75,000 a piece um, over, our, over our annual contract, over the time of the contract. The, uh, Franchise fee of 0.5% gross annual revenue will also continue over the five year lease, or I'm sorry, five year contract. And um, our peg support will continue to match charter 5%. One of the things that uh, Bill August brought up as a concern is that uh, Verizon keeps trying to change the wording of um, the way the contract is written. and. He is working with John Harrington in trying to get them to maintain the same language so that it matches every other contract we've ever had. And um, he's confident that if they keep hammering away at it, that they'll be successful. Uh, Bill said it's not a concern for having the wool pulled over our eyes. It just means that he'll be invoicing us more for reviewing the documents. Um, so we'll have more to report on that next moment. But he's pleased so far. He said we're, we're going to do well. And it's not in one. Oh, well, well, it's not in one. Hello. <clears throat> okay, you can hear me. I think I, I think I muted. Um, can't do anything about it. It has to be a phone in the computer room. Okay. Uh, um, were you still? Uh, I'm done. You're done. Any questions about any of that? 
In, in terms of these negotiations we have with our uh, with Verizon, are we uh, looking to try to advance, you know, our transmission abilities, uh, you know, more high def, that sort of thing? That's a that's a non-starter. Every time that comes up, it's a flat no. Is anybody watching the high def channel? Does anybody know about the high def channel? Well, I'm a charter subscriber, so I can't watch it. Yeah. And when I looked at it, it didn't impress me. Looked at well, me. It, it does look better. Does it? Not, not yes. on, it didn't on my screen. Uh, but it's been quite a long while since I looked, and uh, I hardly ever go to the television set with a cable box anymore. We're upstairs with a smart TV and mostly watch wow. YouTube. Uh, um, I I go down there for the Patriots games because I can stop and start. I can record and then zip through the ads. Um, but we I've got to we got to sort that out. But I haven't had a chance to really look. And the set that it, it watches on is quite old. Okay. Um, nothing else on that. Conference room A replacement audience, all four monitors. Bob. The monitors for room A have arrived. They are in possession of Oakers at their facility in Middleborough. And I spoke with Danielle 30 minutes before the meeting started, and she is trying to figure out when she can get them delivered. So uh, probably by the next meeting, we should have that ready to go. Are they, uh, you've, I'm sure, told us, are they pretty much the same size as the old ones, the same diagonal? Um, the discussion over how to replace them, um, the, uh, the team of people that we have under contract to do the maintenance on room A, and they, they check the room out quarterly, they, they made a recommendation for certain brands and certain models that need to talk to the uh, to the equipment in the control booth where Bill sits. And uh, we had some difficulty getting an exact match, um, but eventually after um, a couple of attempts, Daniel was able to get uh, a pretty close match to what uh, the vendor recommended. Uh, so both of them were happy. So that means we're happy. So are they bigger? No, they're going to be the same size. Okay. Because if they're bigger, then they had to worry about how would they be mounted. How about uh, somebody as tall as Mr. McCusker walking in and hitting his head on them, <laughs> all kinds of things. So uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be the same size. I, actually, my, that, the reason I ask is because I remember being involved in the uh, the designing and figuring all that out. And um, there's a, a code, Bob B would be able to tell us, um, there's a code that says it has to be a certain distance. So as to clear uh, Bill Russell and you know all those people. That was one of the issues. They figured out, they found a device that would talk to our equipment, but then they realized pretty quickly that they were too big. So they had to go back and search again. Okay, uh, anything else on that? Hearing none. Uh, timeline for upgrades, the conference room F also in, to include the purchase of new equipment for future town meeting productions, three camera package, Robert Berger. Robert Berger isn't here. So I guess, Unless anyone wants to talk about that, I can't talk about I can't talk about the room F upgrades because I haven't seen any uh, I haven't seen any documentation talking about when that might take place. Um, the devices that Danielle recommended for town meeting um, program is is going to be pretty cool. It's 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 a device that will 
allow for multiple inputs of those robotic cameras that we had talked about months and months ago. The, uh, the setup is going to be, be able to be transported in a large uh, padded strong box so that we can set them up. Um, the reels, uh, all of the cables connecting the cameras to the switcher are going to be uh, network cabling. And the network cabling is on spools. And um, Bill and I have been looking at possible configurations for the next town meeting. And um, we're excited. We can't wait to get our hands on stuff and get trained on it so we can implement it. It's, um, it's going to give us a capability that we've never had before. And um, we believe we haven't actually seen the device yet, but when we, when we take delivery, we believe that there's multiple inputs where if the uh, sign language interpreter shows up, we can add a stationary traditional camera and just feed that in and capture them live during the course of the meeting too. So um, maybe by the next meeting, again, maybe by the next meeting, we'll be able to talk about that too. But, um, exciting times coming for a future town meeting. Yeah, it occurs to me, uh, the thing I mentioned earlier about internet at the parks and other places, that would seem to be applicable there too. We could do multi-camera of the Lions concert or, or something like that, couldn't we? Right. The um, the issue well, have enough wire. <laughs> right. Well, the issue, yeah, the issue, the Wi-Fi issue for the high school is that we're we are seeking a um, wired connection at the high school, not Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, remote shoots from the common or other places will also be within our capability. Um, and depending, I mean, depending on the strength of the Wi-Fi signal, we ultimately would love it to be hardwired. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll learn more about that once we get trained on the equipment. Okay, the the Wi-Fi being the connection back to the studio or between cameras. I haven't seen this gear at all. The cameras are connected to the switching equipment by network cable. Cable. So direct link, right? The internet is simply used to talk back to the server in the PV studio. Yeah. When you say Wi-Fi, though, that that's a that's a, a wireless connection, and it's much harder to get. It. Well, it's more doesn't necessarily have the same bandwidth as the hard wire. Right. Okay. Um, anything on that? Nothing. Access activity. Bob Datoma. Uh, Bill recently had uh, two different musical groups in the studio. Uh, if, I believe I mentioned once before, I can't recall. He had one group come in. They were uh, Emma and Blake. It was uh, a young woman and an older gentleman who did a, uh, a series of set of music. And, um, and then recently, the gentleman who had the jazz trio continued to come in. He, uh, he did the bus stop weather and the sports report all school season long those have come to an end and uh, both of those student volunteers will return in the fall and uh and of course we were busy during election season with all of the candidates but, uh, we'll be pretty quiet now through the summer until we get to national night out and um in uh with jim's passing we're going to have a kind of a different configuration for the hosting duty so uh, instead of me running around in a uh, floor manager's role, I'll be on camera hosting. And uh, Don Anderson has graciously uh, accepted an invitation to co-host, so we're looking forward to that. That's what's going on in the studio. Questions? Next meeting, July 17th. That's the nominal, uh, that's our nominal meeting date. Third, third, third Monday. Amazingly, that's a Monday that we may be able to meet. Um, we've been having a little trouble with that. One of the troubles with Mondays. Um, believe me, planning board meets on Mondays. We know all about it. Um, in fact, next Monday we're meeting and it's going to be like the Maytag man. Um, we actually have like about five minutes worth of business to do. And we were thinking about 
going at completely virtual, but then Bill would show up and there'd be nobody there. So I think I'm gonna show up. Um, anybody uh, have any issue with uh, July 17th no. at, at seven, uh, Sean? I have a EDC meeting at 6 p.m. Uh, so is this going to be Zoom or will our meeting be Zoom or in person? Zoom? All right. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it should work out. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, Zoom seems popular, particularly for... Uh, bodies that don't get very much action uh, from the public. Um, yeah. Any old business? Any new business? Well, well I business? old business course. Well, old kind of new. Uh, it's about this time of year we talk about the uh, reappointments for president, vice president and so forth, uh, which uh, typically uh, for what I would say would be in July. So uh, given the fact that we don't have, we only have a quorum, that we'll get a better audience uh, next month. So it's rather important. I just make you note that um, based on, on the past, that the, the future of this uh, upcoming July meeting is, is likely gonna be a, an important one. Yeah. I don't know whether you noticed, but uh, I, I tapped into the uh, Selectman's appointment meeting uh, even though we didn't have to show up to it. Uh, I did. Hmm? I and, did, because I thought we had to be. Yeah, well, uh, you didn't get the word. Uh, you got to work on your email. Um, uh, but, yeah, okay, then you notice that I threw in a little ad. Uh, now, but I want to be... I talked I talk at the podium. Uh, that's right. Yes, of course. Um, we have... Six members appointed, is that correct? It, it's gotten a little confusing, um, but I think we have six members. We have Bob, Bob, and Bob. We have Sean, we have Corson. We have the new gentleman, Mike, who has not taken his oath yet, I believe. So that's- Okay, I don't have Mike then, okay. No. That, that's my, so we, uh, M Michael. M M Michael Molesky. Okay, so we do have a full, a full boat. Six. Yeah. That as of July first, actually, um, because the appointments are, I think, for the new term. Okay. Uh, any uh, any other old business? New business. Just what I mentioned coming up next month. Uh, we don't need to extend the meeting, so I need a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second it. Okay. Moved and seconded okay. to adjourn. Uh, that's not debatable. Uh, Bob? Aye. Sean? Aye. Corson? Aye. And I vote aye. Uh, okay. Motion, motion passes.